everyone, thanks for tuning into Patriot TV. I'm Lisa Valenz here today to help you install computer memory. I know it may sound scary, but it's not too bad. Let's start with reasons for upgrading the memory into your computer. Your computer feels slower. You are experiencing lag during applications. You want to be able to open more applications or the programs and games that you use requires more memory. Today, I'll help you with a few things to get it done right. So here's what you do before you buy the memory. Determine what type of memory you need. This should be in the original manual. Also, DDR2 and DDR3 are not the same thing. If you have DDR2, buy DDR2. After you have bought the memory, let's prepare for installing it. Let's start with a clear tabletop. You can do it on the ground, but hunching over could hurt your back. So try to do it on a desk or a table. Adequate lighting. You will find yourself under the hood, so have some overhead light and save yourself the headache. All right, I'm all set here. I have my table, my computer, and my lights. As for tools, you'll need to have some to open up the case. Once you're inside, you're good to go. Mine requires an Allen wrench, but yours might need a Phillips head screwdriver. Also, you need an anti-static guard. This thing, it goes around your wrist and grounds you, preventing the static shock. Just clip it onto something metal like the table. The alternative is to stay off the carpet. Working on the carpet can build up static, so working in the kitchen would be a better place. And touch something metal before digging around in your computer. You don't want to discharge any static inside of your computer. Typically, the computer is accessible by the side panel. You should be able to find a couple of screws on the back railing edge. For this case, I have one screw, so we'll do that now. There it is, the memory. So, I bought a kit of memory to replace what is currently in there. It looks like only one stick is installed. No wonder it's so slow, jeez. So, now we will remove the current ones. Push down and outwards on the side tabs. On both sides and the memory should now be released and you can just pull it out. Now let's install the new one. The module that's in here currently will be recycled. Remember, computer waste is very bad for the environment and should be discarded appropriately. The bottom of the memory is keyed and fits only in one direction. So match up the key with the one in the slot. Here we go. Once inserted, push down and the side clips will click into place to secure the memory modules. And that's it. Hope that helped you. Thanks again. I'm Lisa Blend.